teen killer sentenced for taking his great-grandmother's life. Instead of starting his freshman year in high school, Antonio Barbeau is set to begin a long prison sentence. Our Tom Murray reports on an emotionally charged day in court. This teenage convicted murderer, so emotional he could not finish reading his own statement here today, Antonio Barbeau will spend at least the next 35 years in prison. <coughs> 14-year-old Antonio Barbeau does not even know how to shave yet, but he does know he will be in prison until at least his 50th birthday. At times, Barbeau wiped tears from his face in court. Then he shook his head and smirked when the prosecutor spoke. Barbeau appeared too overwhelmed to read his own statement, handing his handwritten notes to his attorney. I know I don't show my emotions much, and I'm, I myself am not sure why, but that doesn't mean I don't. Barbeau's great-grandmother, Barbara Olson, was found dead in her Sheboygan Falls home. Barbeau and his friend Nathan Pop admitted to killing the woman with a hatchet and hammer. They took her cash and bought pizza and pot. You know, the kid's just, life is gone. He's going to wait till he's 50, you know. He won't be anything like, you know, he is today. Is Antonio Barbeau genuinely remorseful for what he did? Yes. Yes, he is. I, I don't doubt that, and I never have. Some family members urged the judge to make Barbeau eligible for parole after the minimum, 20 years. Others agreed with the sentence. He won't necessarily get out when he's 50, but he'll still have to, um, you know, he'll have to prove that he's worthy to become a, a member of this uh, society. So I think that's the way it should be. Now, Barbeau could appeal his sentence. His attorney says they have to talk it over before making that decision. In Sheboygan, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. And Barbeau's friend and accomplice Nathan Pop is scheduled to be sentenced tomorrow morning. The prosecutor tells us he will recommend the same punishment.